so how you doing, dude? Should I get it now? Karaoke? Uh huh. They've got karaoke machines over here for, for $13, regular $50. I'm married. Sorry, girls. Pack up your giners and go home. None of this good loving for you. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Buffalo Picker coming at you with another video. Um, I had a uh, Murphy's Law moment uh, this weekend. You know, uh, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And um, I mean, it was mostly my fault because I haven't tucked the GoPro out uh, sourcing in a while since uh, the uh, pandemic started. But um, this is my first day back out and man, I was all over the place with this GoPro. I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. And when I was recording, it was fast forward they on the rabbit and I lost a lot of good footage. I met a lot of good people out, but you know, those stories I can't, you know, share them with you. But what I can share is the products that I picked up. So uh, what I'm gonna do is let a small portion of the video play that I was able to savage. And I'm gonna uh, go ahead and show you the items that I picked up from Walmart clearance and a couple of my honey holes. So uh, let's get to it. Basically what you got to do, just come in, pull things off the shelf, scan it. I mean, if it's uh, on clearance, you grab it. If not, keep it moving. Check these Legos, they just sit here. It's another thing too, if you just see something just sitting out of place, and it ain't in its right location, just scan it. It may be marked down. Okay, that one's not. This one has a marked down sticker of 99. Box kind of beat up. That one is 99 as well. Okay, so that one's 89. So those are marked correctly. That's more than the seven. Y'all uh, restocking or marking down? Uh, we resetting the whole section. Oh, okay. You got any marked down toys over here? They're all up. Right behind uh, the back to school in, in the clearance aisle. Where at now? In the clearance? Yes, sir. Okay. Right behind the back to school. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm about to go. <laughs> Where y'all tools at? What, what you got? What y'all using? 
Just your phone? Oh yeah. Oh what y'all? Walmart app. Just the Walmart app? Uh -huh. So how y'all know where to sell for? We don't not in Y'all ain't got no eBay? Where y'all selling at? Oh, oh no, no, we're not, not selling it. We're getting out for our grandchildren. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a reseller. Oh, yeah. No wonder, but so you see. Yeah, let me have. But this is two hundred five. Donate some of those to my. <laughs> I do fine. donate to kids though, but it's more like food. Oh, okay. Uh, let me get y'all one of my cards. So y'all go to YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, go to uh, YouTube and uh, check out my channel. I teach people how to do this for a business, mm -hmm. and uh, all the information is free. All I ask you to do is subscribe. Okay. Just hit the subscribe button. It's for free. Okay. And you uh, on eBay. I do eBay and Amazon. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. eBay and Amazon. Okay. All right. Thank y'all. You. you too now. portion of the video is coming to an end um, I wanted to definitely share some of the footage that I got out of these uh, different locations but uh, due to human error with my GoPro I was unable to capture a lot of the inf uh, footage that I want to show uh, I did have a still photo that I'm sharing with you now of this lady here she was in the store with her grandkids and uh, she was just uh, shocked to see that somebody was actually uh, talking about toys on YouTube and uh, selling toys to uh, make a living. Uh, real good conversation. Uh, too bad I wasn't able to share it with you all, but I want to just give her a shout out. And uh, we're going to move on to the next part of this video. Okay, so 90% of the items you see on the table is from uh, Walmart clearance. Uh, before I even go out to the stores, I use a program called BrickSeek. I paid a premium subscription for that, and it has helped me out a lot. So if you need some assistance with uh, your RA game, I definitely uh, advise that you look into BrickSeek to uh, help you out. So uh, like I said, 90% of the items on the table is from Walmart clearance, and the other 10% is from a couple of the honey holes that I like to hit up. Uh, in this box here, I have the Star Wars lightsaber. I have about 40 or so of those in this particular uh, large box to process. Um, these was going for $5. I could have bought a lot more, but I just didn't want to invest in uh, that many. Um, well, I guess you can say 40 is a lot, but um, I had limited space and I wanted to uh, make sure that I had space for other items because I had planned on hitting about five or six Walmarts and most of these came from my first stop. So, uh, yeah. So the next item I have is the uh, Transformer Decepticon. This item is nine bucks. Um, I don't know what the original price on this one, but I know on Amazon it's selling for about $29 yeah so I will comp some of the items as we go um this item here came from one of my honey holes uh pretty much with seven dollars and something it's going for 20 something on Amazon uh this particular game here and let me grab it I tried to clean the shelves with these um it was selling for nine bucks and as you can see on the tag here the walmart tag is 39 dollars and 88 cent i found a couple of video games that ranked pretty good at uh one was five bucks and the other one was seven even though the tag says 11. and what else i have here it's same with this one this one's uh seven bucks as well um i have the wolverine and the deadpool this is actually my second wave of, the, of this particular uh, figures. Um, I just shipped out about 38 of those to Amazon. Also, I found these uh, Star Wars uh, figures. This is the Luke Skywalker one. These are going for $5. Um, I forgot what was the comp price on it, but I'm definitely going to comp it and show you in the video. Uh, these Marvel Legends. 
If you see my video a couple months back, I shipped out probably about 80 of these to uh, Amazon. And right now I probably have about 15 here on the table. And these all was going for $5 as well. If you sell ink, this is a good ink to find. Um, they was listed at 13 bucks, but they was they, the hidden clearance was $7. So if you see these out there, you definitely want to pick these up uh, if you can comp it for a good price. I got these um, Batman, Superman figures, 12 inch figures from my honey hole. Uh, they have a nice return as well. And keep in mind that all the items you see on this table is basically designed to sell during Q4. If they sell earlier, I mean, more better, but I basically got these for Q4. I um, also had these figures before. The uh, Hulk and the Thanos, both was, uh, figures were selling at seven bucks. The uh, Spider-Man uh, Maximum Venom, that item was selling for 11 bucks. I have had uh, four or five of those as well that's already at Amazon. This Thanos, I remember when it first came out, uh, I think they were selling it for 18 or 24 at Walmart. And right now this item is selling for $2.50. So I tried to get them all. Um, and like I said, these particular items are definitely for a Q4. Uh, so yeah, let me get this out of the way. Apples and apples. I, I did a bolo on these. I on a uh, first one in on these, uh, three, four months ago. And they was, at seven bucks at one of my Walmarts and now they seven bucks everywhere. So I found a few of these on clearance. Uh, the, this particular item right here was called in to me from uh, Glass City Pickers. And we got this from one of our honey holes. Uh, this item right here sell well on Amazon and it's got a, a great return. Uh, this particular item I've been monitoring this item for about three weeks and one particular store, it was there for $17. And when I went in this weekend, they were still sitting there, but the price had changed to seven bucks, as you can see. And I don't know if you can see that the other price was $17. Original price on this was $29.97. And that's pretty much what they're going for on Amazon as well. So I have... Uh, let's see. I think I have 10 of these and this game right here Rise of tribes this game is about $49 in, at uh, Walmart and I got it for 13. I picked up all they had uh, which is four and every store that I went in I was trying to find in every store had it at 49 except for this one particular store so I don't know if uh, Walmart is going to continue to mark down uh, items in the next couple of weeks. I'm not sure about that, but I know the stores that I went in, all of those was 49, except for one store, and they had them at 13. This item right here, I actually got two of the Tar Story 4 and the Lion King. You see a lady in the video, she was telling me these was 13 bucks, and she was correct. It all was $13, so I took all that they had and that was the only store that i could find them at 13 bucks i found some barbies the uh, national geographic barbie original price was 14.97 and this was going for four dollars um this item right here the uh star wars return of the jedi it's a vintage uh collection um they didn't have a price on these but when i scanned it they came up at nine so I took two because basically all they had was two. I would have took them all, but you know, um, they only had two. Well, you did take them all, Buffalo, but they only had two. Okay, so uh, I picked up the uh, real Ghostbusters figures, and what I have seven, they were all going for nine dollars. I have different ones, I'll try to show y'all here the price um these lion king sing-along microphones was going for three dollars 
and see if I can find one with a tag on it. I probably got about 15 of these. I uh, thought I had a couple with tags on it. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. There you go. Okay, so they were selling these at $9.97. And right now, you can get them at Walmart for $3. Now, keep in mind, every Walmart uh, haven't marked these down because I was in a Walmart where they were still 9 bucks. So you just have to uh, basically uh, go to BrickSeek. If you uh, have a premium subscription, go to BrickSeek and look this item up and check inventory in your area. They may have those at, at uh, $3. This particular Paw Patrol... Uh, the rescue total team rescue. I got this for five dollars at a Walmart found it on brick seat um, Actually found it on brick seat last night and got up this morning went to that Walmart and this item here the uh, mighty pups was also one of the ones that I found on brick seat and I picked up seven Which is all that they had and that this particular item was five bucks as well so this was my weekend haul. Well, oh, hold on, getting ahead of myself. Okay, so I got these Barbie Sweet Archer form for seventeen dollars. I picked up what four of those. I got these coolers, Coca Cola coolers. These was twelve dollars. I got three of those, and that's all they had. Um, let me put this up here. And I got these VTEC to match uh, VTEC dinosaur. Um, got two of those. And uh, skipped over these. I got the Star Wars Chewy. Um, probably got about 15 of those for $4. These items you can still find at Walmart. And I left a lot of items at Walmart that I just wasn't interested in. It was a lot of frozen items out there that. I'm not approved on uh, Amazon to sell Disney Frozen. I can sell Disney, but I can't sell Disney Frozen. You know, go figure. But uh, hopefully some of this uh, information can help you out. If you don't use BrickSeat, I advise you to look into BrickSeat. I mean, it's a premium uh, on it, and, you know, some people just don't want to pay that additional money, and I understand that. But with that being said, hopefully I provided you some content that you can use. Please like and subscribe, hit that like button, support the channel, Buffalo Picker. See you on the next video.